I bought another keyboard. So recently I bought an Ampro 2 from Amazon Prime Day for $79. Originally it's priced at $100. And I bought the Kale Box Red Switches I believe, which are slightly different from the switches that I actually wanted to get, the silver box switches. But I felt like it was worth the money, so might as well copped it. So it came with a few keycaps, which is pretty nice. A keycap puller, as well as a long red cord. Personally, I wish it was a white cord so that it'd be more uniform, but the red cord gives it a little extra flair to it. So I'm going to be comparing the Ampro 2 to my current keyboard of an RK61 with red switches. A little quick typing test. Generally at first it felt much better than the RK, uh, much clickier, talkier. And then I pulled off the keycaps to take a look at the insides. Here's a closer up look. I felt it was a little bit more stable, probably because it's a box switch. When I took it out, it was actually surprisingly heavy. Maybe because the RK61 has been known to be pretty light, but generally, I did not expect it to feel slightly heavier than my memory keyboard as well. The overall build quality and casing of the Ampro 2 was better. Here's a sound test of the two keyboards. Here's a comparison of the sizes. The LEDs were also slightly brighter. The RK is slightly skinnier and has a lesser tilt. Now here are some clips from my stream of me trying it out against the RK. I'm going crazy right now. I don't watch the anime. He's only 23 years. What the fuck? Anime color hell in that. Alright, now I try with the RK. I thought it was kind of weird, because the name is kind of super weird. Alright, I gotta be quiet right now. See ya. Later. Overall, was it really that much better than the RK? I'd say yes and no. If you were a non-gamer or someone who just wanted to browse the internet or do coding, I would recommend the RK because it's much cheaper. Assuming that you're not buying it on Prime Day, it would be $50 less, so the Ampro would be double the price of the RK. And they both are Bluetooth, so accessibility should not be a problem. As well as the RK is slightly lighter, so it's more easy to carry around. On the other hand, for gaming, I'd definitely say the Anpro has a much better build quality, it's more stable and sturdy, and the switches are very satisfying and talky. 
which are much better than the RK. In terms of Osu gameplay, I believe I performed much better. It was much more stable, and I also was able to type much faster for some reason, even though they're both red switches. Other than its consistency, I have to note that it was slightly more heavier than the RK. However, that wasn't really a problem when it came to speed, as I was able to stream at the same rate as I did with the RK. So, if you're an Osu gamer looking to upgrade your keyboard to perform a little bit better, I would recommend buying the Ampro 2. But if you're just a relaxed gamer hoping to play some other games or just do some coding, browsing the internet, I would recommend the RK. That's all from me today. I'll be doing another video on cable management. See you guys next time.